Yo guys, what's up? Sam here. This is going to be a super serious video. I just want to say that right off the bat. Um, I'm not going to be joking around or trying to be entertaining or making this a, a hype product video because that's not what this is. Um, it's something that I felt I had to share my, my piece on because I find it broadly good yet deeply concerning at the same time. And I, I believe that those things can coexist and um, I, I just want to share my thoughts on this topic, which I should say what it is. Uh, Apple made some announcements expanding child protections across all of their products today. Now, these are not out yet. I want to make that very clear. They're coming in updates to iOS 15, watchOS 8, macOS Monterey, iPadOS 15 later this year. But they are coming and there were rumors about this happening and now Apple has confirmed it. So this is not speculative. I'm looking at apple.com slash child dash safety. So this is straight from Apple themselves. Essentially, Apple has announced they're taking a three-prong approach to helping specifically children, but also children and their parents combat bad, unwanted imagery. Um, and it's called, what is the word for it? CSAM, which is child sexual abuse material. Um, as I said, this video is gonna be heavy and pretty serious. So if it takes me a second to formulate my thoughts, or what I'm trying to say in this video, please forgive me. I just wanna make sure that I'm getting this right. So the first of the three is in the Messages app, and it's this really smart new flow that is aimed to help protect your child from, I believe, sending or specifically receiving sexually explicit images. With the internet, I mean, I'm not, I'm 23 myself. I don't have a child, but I can't imagine how hard it is to protect your kid from, from unwanted, bad sexually explicit content and apple obviously has parental controls for things that are you know legal online there's um there's also things that are completely illegal in every circumstance ever and that should never be allowed anywhere that shouldn't exist uh, which is pictures of minors that are sexually explicit so here's an example that apple shows us um you are sent a photo that the iPhone on device scans is likely sexually explicit. It says this could be sensitive to view and you can see it's very kid friendly as uh, the emojis and everything else is laid out. It also, it looks serious at the same time. It says sensitive photos and videos show the private body parts that you cover with bathing suits. It's not your fault, um, but sensitive photos and videos can be used to hurt you. The person in this might not want it seen. It could have been shared without them knowing. So then you would say, I'm sure I wanna go ahead or not now as shown as the default option. And then it says, hey, it's your choice, but your parents want to know you're safe. If you decide to view it, your parents will get a notification. Um, don't share anything you don't want to. Talk to somebody you trust if you feel pressured. That's super important. Um, and you're not alone. You can always get help. So the parent is notified, I believe, either way in this circumstance. But this is actually really, really cool. And I've, I've seen this overshadowed by myself and others about the, the other discussion in this video, but this is really great. I mean, this is like grade A language of how you would talk to, chi talk to children. Uh, I mean, from my basic, basic training on these things from, you know, growing up and such. And uh, it looks good. So I, I, I got to give Apple props for this one. This one's really uh, a good move and I, I can't wait to see this roll out. The second prong Apple is applying here is for more broadly the entire operating system for Siri and search so that you could ask Siri how to report CSAM, which is again, child sexual abuse material. There's also another part that will give you a prompt if you are trying to search for these things. Um, let me just read it exactly what Apple says in the release. Siri and search are also being updated to intervene when users perform search queries related to CSAM. These interventions will explain to users that the interest in the topic is harmful and problematic and provide resources from partners to get help with the issue. It will show you, uh, here's an, another example. Apple has published this already, what it's going to look like, I guess, if you are trying to, to find this content. So Apple doesn't really say what would trigger this result or query, but it looks like that will be baked in now. Again, this is very good. I, I don't see anything wrong whatsoever with the first and third of these things. It is with the second that is actually uh, child sexual abuse material detection that is, 
very split down the middle from what I've seen. And I just want to say this before saying anything else. In no environment, in any case, in any circumstance, should child sexually explicit material be allowed ever. End of story period. I'm just trying to be very clear with my intentionality behind this so that you guys know what I actually feel. And that is that this is horrible in every way. End of story. So Apple has in introduced this new thing called CSAM detection, which is going to scan all of your photos. They're essentially encrypting things and then decrypting them. And if these certain patterns match of photos or figures or faces from a known database of CSAM material, meaning explicit sexual content of minors, then that is going to flag something at Apple and there will be a manual review of the content. Now, first of all, I don't know whose job it is, if it's an Apple employee or a third party that is going to have to look at these things, but I, uh, I feel for that person and I'm sure that is an incredibly hard job and your account, if it is found to be an offender, will be disabled and you, will be reported, I believe, to law enforcement or partners that can then report it to law enforcement. I, b I believe Apple's gonna report it to partners, not directly to law enforcement. This sounds like a good, okay, let me rephrase that. This is a good thing, right? Less explicit content of minors is something that every single person can agree is a good thing. Less child porn on the internet is a net win for humanity. Separate from that, I have some concerns about this system. I've already said and made very clear that I don't think that this content is good and that it shouldn't be out there. I don't know, I don't like the fact that Apple will now be scanning every iCloud user's photos to find these matches. It's not searching for new material, it says. It's just looking for things that would match this database. I start to question how this could be used in the future, right? Because Apple had that infamous case against the FBI where they asked Apple to make a backdoor just for them. They said, hey, we don't want terrorists. And Apple said, neither do we. And I think most, excuse me, I think everyone agrees that terrorism is horrible, that harming other people whether it's through the CSAM or violent acts is not good. But Apple said, we're not gonna help you unlock this terrorist iPhone because it would send a dangerous precedent for unlocking other people's iPhones for other crimes. And Apple st stood very firm in saying that we are not gonna help you unlock this iPhone. And the FBI and, and law enforcement, they know how to unlock these iPhones. They were making this case so that Apple would make it more easy and accessible for them. And that's what I see here. Like this of scanning the photos for one bad thing that's illegal could scan for other bad things that is illegal. First thing that comes in my mind, pirated music, pirated movies and TV shows, um, illicit substances, things along the lines of that that are also illegal to be in possession of but that someone could have in their library. And there is zero indication that that is what is going to happen here right now. But many security researchers who study this thing academically and professionally don't like that this is a precedent being set, that this is something that can happen. Now, to play devil's advocate for Apple here, they are not the first company to do this. Google has been doing this since 2008 across all of their photos. Google Photos has been doing this. The Google Photos free service has been scanning for CSAM. That's been happening. Facebook has been doing this. I believe Twitter and others do this as well. So Apple is by no means doing something different than the rest of the industry right now. The key difference here is that this weakens Apple's privacy stance, period. Even if it's for a good reason, and even if we can all agree that less CSAM in the world is a good thing. It is a net win, I believe, for, for humanity, but it absolutely is a loss for privacy. 
And that's why I wanted to make today's video because it directly contradicts Apple's other advertising beliefs statements that privacy is is a human right and that it should be protected at all costs because this is directly tweaking how they look at it. Now, I also want to mention here, there was a note in an article I read from TechCrunch that says there's only about a one in one trillion chance, which is insane, of a false flag, meaning that the algorithm would mistake like a, a non-illegal photo for an illegal photo that would then be flagged and manually reviewed by someone at Apple and then turned over to a partner agency. They also said that this is for iCloud photos. So like Google, others do the scanning in the cloud. Apple does the scanning on device to make it more private. Still not as private as you know it will have been before this is implemented, but still better than others. At the same time, you can not be subject to this if you don't use iCloud Photos. So if you don't sync your photos to the cloud, just like if you don't sync your backup to the cloud, like law enforcement can't get access to a cloud backup that doesn't exist, Apple can't scan iCloud Photos that don't exist. So I wanted to make that of note too. If this is something that you'd like to change, then you could disable iCloud Photos and Apple will not be able to scan your photos because they're not in the cloud. So those are my feelings, my thoughts, and my concerns about this. And I would love for, for you guys to discuss this down below. Do you think that the, the ends justify the means here? Are you concerned about privacy or are you really happy to see Apple taking a more definitive stand against CSAM? Will this change you using an iPhone? Um, will, will this make you want to use the iPhone more? I, I really think that this is gonna be a pretty divisive stance and I, I get it. Like I get both feelings on, on either side. And it's, it really is a catch 22 here. We want kids to be safe. We also want the most private iPhone experience we can have. And those things coexisting together might be a really tough problem to solve. Personally, I don't think that this is a middle ground. I think it's, it's more of a pull on privacy than broad protection. I'm gonna see how this develops. It's not out yet. So if my thoughts on this change, but yeah, I just wanna get this out there. I know it was a super lengthy video, but um, I need to say it. So yeah, two out of thirds of this is great. One third is good on one side and I'm worried about what it does on the other. All right, that's all. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.